Brazilian locals hear suspicious sounds underground what they find is a huge surprise What would you do if you heard someone yelling for help, but you just couldn't figure out where the noise was coming from? Well in this specific case of the Sao Paulo locals these sounds of distress just could not be ignored They decided to band together and take immediate action. However, what they found was something unthinkable at the cultural center in Araras, Brazil, many visitors knew that something just wasn't right. The yells for help could be heard by everyone, but nobody could figure out where these signals were coming from. Well, that is until one person decided to put his ear to the ground. As the sounds below the ground got louder and louder, the locals became more and more curious about where it was coming from. Living in Brazil, exotic and dangerous animals are pretty common. Was it possible that there was an animal below the ground about to threaten their lives? There was no telling what was causing these terrifying sounds, but they decided to check it out The locals were completely confused as to how to approach this situation They had all come to Araras to visit the cultural center and were not expecting this at all This unexpected rescue effort was not in their plans Without any help from the local professionals with capable tools They had to figure out how to do it themselves and get creative after speaking to the people in the surrounding area the group had discovered that these sounds had been scaring people for a week They were all aware that something wasn't right, but no one had attempted to take any action to figure out the cause of the sounds They were determined to figure this out even if it took them long amounts of time to their surprise They were offered some help as The yells got worse the group of visitors got all the local officials involved Something in this whole situation seemed completely off and they were determined to find out the reason behind all this Unfortunately, the officials weren't as determined to offer their assistance They hadn't seen the cries themselves and told the group to go about their day as planned the visitors were completely shocked Why didn't anyone want to help them out? Instead of offering their help the officials left the visitors to figure it out for themselves the visitors refused to give up They knew if they wanted to get to the bottom of the situation. They had to do it on their own they started by digging like crazy to get underneath the floor to where the sounds were coming from They soon realized that a shovel wouldn't do the trick and so the cultural center visitors asked some utility workers for help That were working on the surrounding area with their power tools. They were able to make some progress They brought a jackhammer and they were pushed through until they got below the surface moving closer and closer to the yells What they found below the ground shocked everyone the visitors who were just ordinary people were extremely grateful to the utility workers for their assistance The utility workers were concerned that the tools might be too forceful and injure what might be stuck below the surface They practiced great caution when digging below the surface after discovering the root of the mystery. They were glad they began digging After digging for a long time. They were sure that they'd gone deep enough to find the source of the cries They'd hoped that they could now figure out what was going on But as they reached down into the rubble all they found was a dark hole at this point the noises stopped What happened to the creature below? The visitors and the utility workers were all disheartened How could they have dug so deep into the ground and still come up with nothing? They all knew that the sounds were incredibly real and just when they were about to give up the noises started up again However, not being able to see any signs of what was below was starting to wear on them The utility workers agreed to start digging a second hole seeing as this could shed more light on whatever was down below The second hole was a lot closer to the cultural center, but it was going to be a very laborious task Avoiding major pipes and electrical work was a bigger challenge than they thought at this point giving up was totally not an option after surveying the scene for a while the workers agreed that the sounds were actually coming from inside the pipe They had no choice but to remove an entire section of the piping to try and find out what was making the sounds that they were hearing After they had all removed a portion of the piping They now had access to whatever was inside the pipe that had been yelling one worker volunteered to reach down inside to get whatever was inside He knew that this was a particularly risky move, but they still didn't know if it was dangerous However, what he pulled from the pipe was the last thing they had expected. How did this creature get inside the piping? Inside the piping what had been crying for help was a small kitten a small kitten had managed to get himself stuck in the underground pipe After the kitten had suffered for many days in the pipe. It was surprising that the kitten had survived at all The poor cat was all alone. Well, that is until they made yet another discovery 
the utility worker reached back inside the piping and there they made a second discovery It was a second kitten when the second kitten was pulled out It was even more fragile than the first the visitors gave a round of applause when the small kittens had been retrieved There weren't just two kittens. There were four in total How had these young and helpless creatures survived underneath the ground in a pipe for so long? They were such brave and strong creatures and they deserved to have lives that proved their worth the pipe the kittens were found in was very small cold dark and incredibly deep The group all wondered how these tiny animals had survived a week alone down there If only officials had stepped in to help and gotten to the bottom of this sooner then the kittens would have been found sooner The last question that the group had on their mind was where were these kittens mother? The piping seemed a bit too small for a larger cat to fit inside the utility workers decided that the mother had probably given birth to the kittens on the roof of the cultural center and when they opened their eyes they got curious and wandered inside a pipe above the news of the kitten discovery spread all over and soon the story became incredibly viral people were touched by the story and they sent money and supply donations to help get the kittens healthy once again after they'd endured a wild beginning a happy ending was what these small kitties deserved one of the rescuers decided to take the litter home and look after them while they recovered from their trauma Nurses helped get them back to health and they focused on trying to get them adopted After this adventure these strong kittens would now get to live comfortably with families that looked after them After they'd endured so much. It's safe to say that everyone involved wanted them to live their best lives after what they'd experienced